this is the application of what definite integral you know definite integral means from a to b area of ab is area under the curve and x axis what is area under the curve and x axis so find this area multiply it two times then you will get this part also there are two parts y power half is y power 3 by 2 divided by 3 by 2 welcome to the session dear students so in my last class i taught you definite integrals today we'll see applications of definite integrals so now what is the basic application of definite integral is area bounded by curve so now two types now area bounded by curve by curve so here graphically we say this is y axis and this is x axis suppose if this is the curve so this is the curve y is equal to f of x and between two points say a and b a and b so if i want to find the area i'll draw a small strip small strip is dx small change in x so now area bounded by curve and x axis between the lines a is combine integrate means combine from where to where from a to b like that so many small strips will be there you combine all the small strips under which curve y so from a to b so from x is equal to a to x is equal to b y dx is area under the curve and x axis two important formats area under the curve and x axis so now this whole thing you can find i'll divide the whole thing into small strips small strip is what dx so combine integrate means combine all the small strips from where to where from a to b under the curve so area under curve and y axis and area under curve and x axis two important formats please make a note of this and then we'll go ahead with the problems area under curve and x axis and x axis between the line x is equal to a to line x is equal to b graphically suppose we have any curve curve so this is what axis x axis and what is this y axis and say this is the curve what is the curve curve is y is equal to f of x and between two points the points are x value a and x value b so between these two so i'll draw uh, region so now i can take small strip so let us take a small strip this is a small strip so like this this small strip is dx such so many small strips if you combine you will get total area so that's why we say area a is equal to combine combine means integrate integrate means what combine from where to where you should combine x value a to x value b x is equal to a to x is equal to b combine all the strips what are the strips dx under which curve under the curve y is equal to f of x so this is the formula what is the area under the curve and x axis area under the curve and x axis a is equal to integration of a is equal to integration of what a is equal to this is the formula a is equal to integration of x1 to x2 or x is equal to a to b y dx or i can say x1 to x2 area under the curve and x axis similarly you can find area under the curve and y axis area under the curve and y axis under the curve and y axis so now we have this is y axis and this is x axis and this is the curve curve is x is equal to f of y so y value b this this is y value a so now i want to find the area first i'll take a small strip small strip means what it is small change in dy so area formula is what combine integrate all the small strips under the curve x from y a to y b this is the area under the curve and y axis so these are the two basic formula which we use to solve the problems this is area under the curve and what y axis so area under the curve and x axis we have here and area under the curve and y axis i have wrote so these two basic formula we use read the problem integrate 
this is the application of what definite integral you know definite integral means from a to b so now we use these techniques to solve the problems so let us go ahead with the problems observe the first thing find the area under the curve the curve is y is equal to x x, x square and x axis and the values x equal to 0 to 1 so now y is equal to x square is parabola y value x square y x square so this is y axis this is x axis x square is equal to 4a y x square parabola means this is a parabola like this and they want you to find the area bounded by this parabola x axis and x is 0 to x1 so here we will have x1 so if I draw they want you to find this area x is 0 to what x1 this is a graph now find the area what is the area formula area is equal to integration of x is equal to a to x is equal to b y dx this is the area under the curve and x axis so x value what is the lower limit x varies from where to where 0 to 1 so x is equal to 0 to x is equal to 1 y dx and you should get y value from the given curve what is the given curve they give y is equal to what x square so in the place of y put what x square so integration of 0 to 1 x square dx you know how to integrate this further a is equal to integration of x square is x cube by 3 from where to where 0 to 1 now apply upper limit minus lower limit it will become 1 cube by 3 minus 0 cube by 3 so 1 cube is 1 1 by 3 minus 0 1 by 3 square units that's it what is the area bounded by the curve and x axis integration x varies from a to b y dx a means lower value, b means higher value or we say x1 to x2. Next we will go to the next problem. Find the area bounded by the curve y square is equal to 8x, x axis and line x is equal to 0 and x is equal to 2. So y square is equal to 4ax, you know y square is equal to 8x is a parabola. So in the chapter parabola we have y square is equal to 8x. This is y square parabola. And the line is what x is equal to 0. x is equal to 0 means y axis. This is 0. And the other one x is equal to 2. On x axis at 2 draw a line. No. The, find the area bounded by the curve. This one x axis and the line. So this line stretches. Now they want you to find this area. What I will do? I will find this part upper part. And lower part is also same two times. So let us name this is O. This is A. This is B. So now this is area under the curve and x-axis and this is also area under the curve and x-axis it is two times above one part we have below equal part we have below I have same part below I have same this is a total area bounded to the curve and between these two lines and x-axis this is the question now what I will do is required area first I will formulate required area is equal to They didn't, if they tell first quadrant only this much, they told uh, total area. So required area is equal to 2 times OAB, 2 times area of OAB. And what is area of OAB? Area of OAB means a diagram only. If you find this area, this is O, this is B, this is A. If you find this area, this is area under the curve and line x is equal to 0 to x is equal to 2 this is line x is equal to 2 this is x is equal to 0 so now 2 times because i want the above part and below equal part either so this plus this 2 times so 2 times area of oab what is area of oab area of oab is area under the curve and x axis what is area under the curve and x axis x is equal to a to x is equal to b y dx that is 2 times integration of x varies from 0 to what 2 there 0 to 2 y dx so what is y value from the curve get the y value so y square is equal to 8x what is y y is root 8x or root 8 into root x y is what root 8 into root x dx now you know root 8 is constant take it out so that is 2 times root 8 is constant take it out integration of 0 to 2 root x dx that is 2 root 8 
into integration of root x means x power half. X power half, all of you know how to integrate x power n. X power n plus 1 into n plus 1. It will become x power 3 by 2 divided by 3 by 2 from where to where? 0 to 2, upper limit and lower limit. Further simplify. We will get area is equal to 2 root 8. Upper limit if you apply. What is upper limit? In the place of x put what? 2. 2 power 3 by 2 divided by. So this is by 3 by 2. I can write 2 by 3. Lower limit minus 2 by 3, 0 power 3 by 2. So now 2 root 8, I can write it as 3 by 2 and reno root 2 power 8, power 3 divided by already we have one more 2 here, 2 by 3. I'll write 0 power anything, 0 into anything, this will become 0, leave it. So now simplify this, this can be written as 2 root 2 and simplify. So mathematical simplification, till this part you write. And let me raise this part and solve the remaining part. A is equal to 2 root 8 can be written as 4 2 is a 2 root 2. And 2 times here we wrote root 2 cube na 2 root 2 and the bodo. And again I have one more 2 divided by what 3. So root 2 into root 2 is 2. 2 2 is a 4, 2 is a 8, 2 is a 16, 2 is a 32 divided by 3 square units. That's it. Next we have find the area of region bounded by the curve x square is equal to 8y, y axis, abscissa and this. See now they want you to find the area bounded by curve and y axis. So now the parabola is x square. x square parabola is u shaped parabola which passes through origin. y axis means this is y axis and abscissa y is equal to 3 and x axis and abscissa y is equal to 3 y is equal to 6 y is equal to 3 y value 3 means on y axis 3 y is equal to what else is that old 6 y is equal to 6 is y is equal to 3 y is equal to 3 y is equal to 6 so find this area multiply it two times then you will get this part also there are two parts so now i call this as a b c d so required area is two times a b c d so required area, required area is 2 times area of, so in the diagram, this was the parabola, I will find only this part, this is y3, y6, this, I so call this as what b, c, a, d, a, b, c, d, area of a, b, c, d, a, b, c, d is what? Area under the curve and y-axis. Area under the curve and y-axis means y value a to y value to b x dy. With, with respect to y-axis means combine dy. With respect to dy you should integrate. So 2 times y varies from where to where? 3 to 6. And x, x you should get from the curve. They give x square is equal to 8y. x will become root 8 root y. Take root. So it will become root 8 root y dy. Now you know root 8 is constant. Take it out. 3 to 6 root y dy. Root y means y power half. y power half if you integrate it will become after integration it will become y power 3 by 2 divided by 3 by 2 goes up. From where to where? From 3 to 6. Simplify this. 2 root 8 can be read. 2 root 8 2 times 6 upper limit. 6 power 3 by 2 and 2 by 3 I can take out. So 6 power 3 by 2 minus 3 power 3 by 2. Simplify this. 2 to the 4 by 3, 12. 4 by 3 root 8 outside. And this is root 6 whole cube. Minus this is root 3 whole cube. Further you cannot, you can simplify this. 4 root 8 by root 3. Root 6 can be written as 6 root 6. This can be written as 3 root 3 root 6 whole square into root 6 and further you can write it as 3 2 the root 3 into root 2 and that root 3 you can take out and simplify or leave it not an issue. Next we have find the area bounded by the curve 3x square is equal to 4y, y axis and these two lines. Again area bounded by the curve and y axis. So x square means the parabola will be of this kind and the lines are what y equal to 1 
y equal to 2 it cuts at 1 and 2 so find this area multiply two times so again you say a b c d so required area is 2 times area of a b c d area of a b c d means y equal to a to y equal to b x dy 2 times what are the y values y varies from what 1 to 2 x dy x is what so x square is equal to 4 by 3 y and x is equal to root 4 is 2 by root 3 root y 2 by root 3 root y 2 by root 3 into root y dy so 2 you take it up it will become 4 by root 3 y power half is y power 3 by 2 divided by 3 by 2 from where to where 1 to 2 again 2 by 3 you can take it out if you take 2 by 3 out it will become area is 4 to the 8 by 3 root 3 and upper for y you apply upper limit lower limit it will become uh, 2 power 3 by 2 minus 1 power 3 by 2 you know 1 power anything is same 8 3 root 2 this can be written as root 2 cube that can be written as 8 3 root 2 2 root 2 root 2 root 2 cancels and 8 to the 16 by 3 square units this is the method to find area then we have other problems related to area which we will consider in my next session. Today I taught you area under the curve and y axis, area under the curve and x axis. Please revise this and learn all the problems. I will see you in my next session. Thanks for attending. Thank you.